Hey there, it's your pal Jeff. Listen, guys, so I'm uh, broadcasting this on my personal pages and also on the Old Fashioned pages and on the Old Fashioned YouTube uh, channel. I just wanted to... Um, I just want to jump in there a second and uh, I'm going to wait a minute because I want to make sure everyone who wants to see this gets a chance to log on in the various places. But uh, I just wanted to make an announcement about our show that's coming up uh, this weekend. So, yeah. So anyway, so here's the thing. The show that we have coming out on Sunday is without a doubt one of the most amazing shows that we have ever done. So I don't know. Uh, how many of you all out there in the Facebook world know who Harry Dent Jr. is? But Harry Dent Jr. is one of the most interesting and fascinating economic prognosticators that I have ever personally had the opportunity to meet. He has several New York Times bestselling books. He was one of, if not the only person to predict the decline of the Japanese economy as early as the late 1980s at a time when people thought that Japan was about to take over the world. Harry was saying, no, the demographics are against them. He uses long-term demographic trends. He looks at what people do, not what um, people say they're going to do. And he uses those trends to predict economic outcomes. For the last little while, he's been talking about how the fact that we're, you know, the fact he's been talking about the fact, according to him, that we're in a big bubble market. He talks about how they've been using economic stimulus for the last decade to stimulate the economy. And he's been predicting a tremendous uh, reduction in the economy coming up. So he also, um, I had the opportunity to meet Harry at a real estate conference last summer. And shortly after that, I met up with him again in San Juan, Puerto Rico, over drinks in a bar, in a hotel bar. And we had about an hour or two hour talk where it was just the two of us one on one. At that talk, he predicted that there would be a major catas catastrophic event that would happen sometime in the next year that would cause the markets to go haywire. He said he didn't know what that would be, but he said the market's too bubbly. It's definitely going to happen. He said it could be uh, oil price shock. It could be some kind of technology issue, some kind of war, or even something like a global pandemic. That was last August. He told me that um, when the coronavirus started popping, he said, this is the thing. This is what's going to happen. The stock market's going to go way down. He predicted two months ago that the stock market would mostly recover by the beginning of summer. That's happened as well. And now he's predicting that the stock market is going to set itself up for another crash towards the end of this year. But we're not here to talk about his predictions about the stock market, which have been spot on the last little bit here. But we're here to talk about his thoughts on the real estate market cycle. We have already recorded the interview and I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this interview. It is one of the most interesting and fascinating things that I've ever seen. So if you are a person who has an interest in real estate, which you should, because even if you're not a real estate investor, you probably have a house. If you don't have a house, you live in someone else's house or someone else's apartment complex. Real estate impacts all of us. And understanding what's going on in the real estate market is super, super important. And Harry is going to lay it out there for us. Now, he might not be right about everything. We don't know, but he has a crazy, accurate track record, and he's a fascinating individual. It's one of the most interesting interviews I've ever done. Uh, it would It's longer than our typical interview. Um, normally, when we do interviews, it's maybe 15 or 20 minutes. We went for a full 45 minutes. The episode comes out Sunday. I have put out a promo on our Facebook page and on my personal Facebook page. So if you haven't seen those promos of the episode, you should definitely go check those out. Get yourself excited because this week we're going to hear Harry Dent on the Old Fashioned Real Estate Show, and it's just going to blow your mind. In fact, let me do this, actually, since I'm here. Let me see if I can share my screen, and I'll share with you guys the Old Fashioned Real Estate Show Harry Dent promo. Because I do not use all right, so let's see if we can do this. I, I should have thought of this ahead of time and teed, teed all this stuff up, but I wasn't thinking straight, so I apologize for that. Give me just one second to bring it up, and I will play for you the promo of the Old Fashioned Real Estate Show that's coming up this week. 
And I'm telling you, this is not something you want to miss. It is one of the most, um, it's one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. It's it really is. Um, all right, so I've I've got it here. Let's just do this. All right, so there's that. Okay, very good. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen real quick, and then hopefully you'll be able to. Um, all right, hold on. Uh, let's share. What screen am I sharing? Huh. Chrome tab. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So, let's see what you guys think. Hate me because I do not use traditional economic methods. I look at what people do. Real estate is unlike most other consumer purchases. So you know, old-fashioned real estate. Let me give you old-fashioned monopoly. What happened? How did you make money in real estate? Monopoly is all about real estate. Whether it be utilities or houses or condos, what the hell? How did you make money? On appreciation? The rent. Rich people are the dumb money in real estate today. I built parking lots in freaking India. All right, you guys get the point. So here's the thing. Harry Dent, old-fashioned real estate, unbelievable. The show's amazing. You heard what he said. Rich people are the dumb money. He explains that. He talks about how economists hate him and why he's right and they're wrong. So you definitely are going to want to see this. It's one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen in my life. And I'm just telling you, subscribe to our show. Go to youtube.com slash old fashioned real estate, subscribe to the show, hit the little bell link, make sure that you're getting notifications. So when this show goes live on Sunday, you get notified right away because you're not going to want to miss it. In fact, you probably are going to want to watch it more than once because it's so packed full of information. I took part in the interview. I listened to what he had to say. I've since watched the interview twice. I normally never watch our shows after we record them because I figure I was there. I understood it, but I'm telling you, this is, it's actually unbelievable stuff. You definitely want to see it. So that's it. Wait, oh, I got a comment. So as long as I'm here, let's say, oh yeah, Cody, I'm uh, I'm glad. So Cody uh, watching on YouTube, he said he's excited to see this one. And uh, I agree, Cody, you, you trust me, you should be excited to see it. It's freaking amazing. Anyway, listen, I appreciate your guys' time. I hope you all have a great day. I know it's like 1030 in the Eastern Standard World right now. Uh, so if you are just getting started with your day because you're on the West Coast, go out there, do amazing things, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, and have a great day.